Okay. Um, so in response to um, Gilapong, <clears throat> okay, it says, when you install Joomla through GoDaddy, it will create a directory or folder in whichever path you chose, and your files will be stored in that directory. Joomla also creates a database with multiple tables. Um, this is also where your info gets lost. Okay, so part one, um, Joomla installs um, files in whichever folder you chose. Like, say your um, website, its name is villapong.com slash, and then whatever that folder you, you called it is probably villapong.com slash Joomla. That's where all your files will be stored. <clears throat> but if you didn't, like if you deleted that word Joomla, um, all your files will be stored in the root folder. And so you wouldn't have to uh, type in slash Joomla after, you know, your domain name. Like, for example, I have, um, <clears throat> open this, actually. All right, here's um, FileZilla, right? It's a way you can connect to your hosting. Here's an example. <clears throat> I have this uh, domain name. It's called Me So Hungry, and I installed Joomla in a folder. So when you go to me so hungry.com, you're gonna get a separate page. If you go to me so hungry.com slash Joomla, you're gonna get a Joomla page. So let me just show you an example for that now. So it's me so hungry.org. I'm sorry, it's not dot com, it's dot, dot org. And then so that's you know it's You'll, you'll see this page when you go to misohungry.org. But if you type in misohungry slash Joomla, because I installed Joomla in a separate folder called Joomla, it's going to go to um, the front page or here. I use the same template. You can always change your template if you want, whatever. But this is the front page of a Joomla page. Okay, and that's that. And okay, and um, as far as the database, when you install Joomla in your hosting, um, in your okay, when you install Joomla, uh, it creates a database on your hosting account. Um, you're gonna have these tables when I showed you how to log in and everything. I'm just going to show you how the table structures are, like a little bit about it. For example, if you go to um, the name of your database, mine is OE09 something something something, um, you're going to see like browse, structure, SQL, search, insert, export, all this stuff. You can export your tables, you can import your tables. Um, Right here, go to JOS users, and here you'll see ID, name, username, email. It's kind of like MySpace. You have, you know, name, your username, email, password, all that stuff. This is where I can get, like, all information about everyone on my site. Okay, so, um, for example, you go here. This is the structure of it, how, you know, they set up the tables and everything. The ID is always auto increment because um, every time you know a new person comes to your site or creates an account, you want to add another number. It's a unique number, you know, an assigned ID. So you always put it auto increment. And you want to browse. Sorry, the structure. There's only two people. Um, yeah, I just created it. So there's only two people on my site right now. That's me and some random person. And here you can see their email and their password. Um, if you look at the password, it's all these numbers, right? You know, you know, it's a really long password. But that's not really the password. It's actually it's um, encrypted. So even I wouldn't even know the password unless I really want to, like, you know, 
analyze it and hack it or something, which I don't know how to do, but it's encrypted. And um, so the people that signed up for my site, they're safe. I mean, I don't know how to get them through their password. I can always delete them if I want or, you know, delete them or add new people like manually, but I won't know their like secret information. So that's safe. Okay. And, you know, you can always browse these tables, go through the same thing. They're all set up the same way. Um, let's say, for example, I wanted to insert. I can go ahead and insert username. Let's just say I want to insert someone username pink feather um, time. See, when you go to my site and you, you know, log on and everything or set up an account, it creates the time and the session ID and everything automatically. But um, if you wanted to do it manually, this is how you would do it. You just go to this, type in the username, user ID, I'm just going to put three, and then that's it. <clears throat> I'm going to leave everything else blank. So now you go to browse. Now you will see that um, I inserted pink feather with a zero as the session ID. I didn't, you know, see here's the three, the number three, that's my user ID that I typed in, but I didn't type in anything else. So I, you know, like nothing's going to show up correct. Like, you're supposed to log in through the website and not do it manually. Because everything it's set up, it's pretty much manual. Like, the time, the session ID, um, what kind of guests you are, and everything. So, you just want to, you know, do this through the site and not through the database. Okay, so if you have any questions, if I didn't explain everything fully or as elaborate enough, just let me know.